It's Tuesday, July 14th, 2015. I'm Soren Baker, and this is DX Daily. Now, they call him Killer for a reason. During an interview with DJ Who Kid, Run the Jewels member Killer Mike dropped the hammer on Bill O'Reilly, the Fox News host who has been critical of rap. Check the clip. But I was going to go in there and cut his throat like Ice T did on Oprah back in the day. But he turns out, you're a fucking woman beater. Doesn't listen to rap, Bill. Yeah. There you go, cocksucker. <laughs> now, back in the day, Killer Mike told y'all he was a monster. But what do you think about what he said about Bill O'Reilly? Hit us up in the comments section and let us know. Killer Mike was on the offensive regarding Bill O'Reilly. Now, Future took a defensive stance when he was being interviewed by HuffPost Live. Contrary to reports, Future says infidelity did not impact his bond with Sierra. Me and her relationship had nothing to do with you. But what was it about? Uh, I feel like we were just growing away from each other and um, we grew apart, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and it's just so much dealing with when you're in a relationship and uh, you the man, you want to make certain decisions for yourself and she want to make certain decisions and I feel like the best route for me is to make more music, to go, to go back to Atlanta and go back to my roots to do what I feel good mm -hmm. for my family. So that's Future's take on his relationship with Sierra, but what do you guys think? Hit us up in the comments section and let us know. As Future looks back at the end of his relationship with Sierra, Dub talks about a friendship he'd like to begin. The Los Angeles rapper featured Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye on Pretend, a song that's featured on his Perfect Timing project, which was released in April. During an exclusive interview with Hip Hop DX's Clifton Griefy, Dub says that he'd like to talk to Slaughterhouse boss Eminem. I would, I would love to sit down and talk to Eminem, man. Like, I, I grew up, I was in middle school listening to Eminem, so that, that'd be crazy to just, like, even if it's not like signing to him, like, it'd be like, it'd mean a lot just to have a conversation with Eminem, you know what I mean? And that'd, it's a lot of like rappers that reached out, but like Eminem, that'd like be like some me talking to Michael Jordan type shit. Dub also says that he doesn't want his being from Los Angeles to define him as an artist. I feel like the stuff I'm talking about is more worldly. You know what I mean? And I, I don't want to get put in a box, whether it's East Coast, West Coast, Southern. I just feel like wherever you at, you should be able to relate to it because they're, they're worldly issues. Dub's perfect timing has a lot of powerful songs on it, but which one's your favorite? Let us know what you think in the comments section. And those are today's top hip-hop headlines. And always, for more music and news, hit us up at hiphopdx.com.